Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton. We're learning more details about an incident that happened at a Vigo County school yesterday. We know a student left school at Consolidated Elementary in West Terre Haute. He stole a gun from a nearby house and was arrested by police. Today we learned some key details from the Vigo County Sheriff's Office. Investigators tell us the student was missing for 80 minutes. The gun he stole was a Savage Axis 243 caliber rifle. The sheriff's office says officers did not see the student fire the weapon, nor did they see him point it toward the school. Officials say the student did, however, point that gun at police. He's being charged with pointing a gun at officers and theft. It is a story that has many people talking about school safety. News 10's Blake Dahlier is live in the newsroom. He explains some of the community's concerns. Patrice, some people in West Terre Haute say they're concerned after an 11 year old fired a rifle in a woods next to Sugar Creek Consolidated Elementary School. Now, I talked with one West Terre Haute woman who says this situation should have never happened. Aaliyah Culley's nephew goes to Sugar Creek Elementary School. She says when she heard about an 11 year old allegedly stealing a gun and firing it near a school, she was in disbelief. I can't even, it, I can't fathom it. It doesn't make any sense. It didn't happen. Things like that didn't happen when I was growing up. And to think that it's getting to that extent again in that young of a kid is scary. The Vigo County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation. The Chief of Operations, Derek Fell, says he's sympathetic to families' concerns. It's unfortunate that it happened near, near a school and those fears and concerns are definitely understandable. Fell says he wants families like the Cullies to know the Sheriff's Office is ready to respond in situations like this one. I think it's important that the community understands that uh, we have a local law enforcement response here, uh, a great group of men and women serving who are going to react, they're going to respond without hesitation and deal with these situations as appropriate. Cully says she'd like to see more steps be taken in the school to make sure this doesn't happen again. They could take extra precautions like maybe metal detectors or just be more attentive because clearly that's something that's lacking right now or it wouldn't have happened in the first place. We took these concerns to the Vigo County School Corporation. News 10 has reached out for interviews with the Vigo County School Administration. As of right now, officials have not agreed to an interview. The school corporation has not answered many of our specific safety related questions. A spokesperson today referred us to the sheriff's office investigation. She said that additional law enforcement officers and counselors were on hand today. Now we'll continue to update you as this story develops. But for now, reporting live in the newsroom, Blake Dollier, News 10.